Yo guys, and there is a new update in FIFA 17, and we've all been kind of dreading this update and this new patch, and it's here today, and to be honest, it looks like it will improve the game even more. As you can see, when you try to load up FIFA 17 on either PS4 or even Xbox or PC, you get this update. It's near enough one gigabyte of data, so it is a big update, so let's get into it, and let's show you what the new update is. So the FIFA 17 title update one is here, and usually with patches in the past, I would say 50% of the time, it's usually made the game a bit like worse for me, but this year, I'm hoping to God, it's kept the gameplay mostly the same, but fixed the issue. So I'm very interested to see what they've done here. Um, as you can see, the first title update for FIFA 17 is available this week on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Um, and it is actually, as of right now, it's live, so ignore that top bit. So with the new update, we have the new components for the 2016-17 Premier League broadcast package, which you can see below in action there. That for me looks awesome. I was surprised it wasn't in the game at the start, but still, it's in now, so we can't complain at all. That looks really nice and will look amazing in game, I'm sure. At the top, it does say, a situation where cancel was unresponsive after requesting a clearance. I had that a lot, so I'd like press either X or like even B and it, it wouldn't like it wouldn't actually clear the ball which cost me a goal every now and then so that's a big update there um, a rare situation where the penalty shootout should have ended earlier i've never had that but clearly it was an issue with some of some of you guys maybe um increased cpu ai tendency to attack directly um an issue where players sometimes overrun the ball after a skill move a lot of skillers have been complaining about that so it's good that they've got to act got like the action going and fix that um increase the chance of error from ground crosses triple tap that's interesting they've clearly they clearly feel that that's a bit too overpowered right now i've said it from day one of this new game and they don't think they fixed this one yet when you cross to the back post like you know on a corner when you do a short pass to your player and then you do a cross straight to the back post right now that is still overpowered so really i really hope in the next patch ea fix that they may fix it in this one they haven't actually got to that but still yeah anyway we go into the next video which is improvements to ball physics where shots off the goal post um lose too much lose too much speeds goalkeeper positioning for um corner kicks have has been improved that was a bit of an issue i found although corners are really tough this year i'm not sure if you guys are finding the same issue um improvements to players switching from corners and free kicks that's cool for any defender an issue where the player would control the ball instead of attempting the clearance that's a bit similar to the other one before improvements to contested headers logic from corner kicks clearly a lot of work has gone into corners so it's going to be interesting to see what happens now from um you know some set pieces next up we have general fixes for player controlled celebrations could see for contentious fouls can now be skipped which is pretty cool improve the general responsiveness of shooting this for me could be the biggest new update you you guys have been saying as as i have there's been too much delay so if i press for example if i press like right now press b and it would take too long to actually shoot so they've clearly got to work on the delay issue which a lot a lot of pro players have been complaining about so happily i'm um, very happy that they fixed that you've also got minor improvement to passing responsiveness when the ball is in the air that's interesting as well they've really got to work on the delay issue in pro clubs ea have fixed the experience required um for the higher overall ratings and pro clubs they've addressed an issue where a player um a player's customized facial features did not display properly in game that's always cool for any virtual pro now to a really big one in ultimate team um well the first thing is that single player difficulty will no longer default to your cpu setting that's not the biggest one though address an issue where the player is forced to substitute an injured player in foot online matches and injuries in this game were way too prominent literally probably every other game one of your players would be injured for example say ronaldo you could have you could have like sterling for example or like a legend and they'd have to be stubbed no matter what like if they get injured they'd have to go off so now they fix that um that's really big i i've had that i've had so many injuries and in, in one game i had four players sorry three players i had to take off so clearly they've um you know noticed that issue there you've also got the issue where they've corrected the shooting and crossing text in custom tactics um yeah apparently they were switched so if you had that 
they're now fixed, so I need to go and switch that back in um, in Awesome Team. In career mode, they fixed the issue where a situation where the CPU AI would frequently leave star players on the bench. That's a big one for anyone who plays career mode. Um, they've also added the um, new visual changes, which include added new components, obviously, for the Premier League broadcast package. They've updated the team kits, banners, and flags for Vela, Starsfield, and Tigre. Um, I think, is that, is that in Mexico, I want to say? I think it is. Um, the goalkeeper now correctly celebrates after catching the final penalty in a shootout. Address an issue where the selected kit isn't the one used in game. Address frame rate issues during pre-match skill game. Address an issue where the fog from a player's breath was detached from their position. So clearly, um, there's been a few glitches in the game. And general overlay fixes, which is cool. And at the bottom there, to say, as a result of the change to pro clubs, some of you may find you're a lower overall than before the update so that's a big one to be aware of um, this is intentional and you haven't lost any of your progress um, so yeah that is the big new update guys that is a really big update especially with gameplay I'm very interested now to go and play in division one and see what happens especially from corners I'm interested with that and shooting like the delay seems like it's fixed that's brilliant um, yeah I'm happy with this update I just hope that this patch doesn't ruin the gameplay in any way. This game for me right now is unbelievably fun. It's great. It's really good gameplay this year. I'm happy with it. So I'm just hoping that this patch keeps it that way. And if not, improves it. I really do hope that in terms of any more fixes, guys, going forward. Because EA, may watch, they may watch this video. So if you comment in the comments below, what do you want to be fixed in this game? For me, as I said before, they need to fix the back post cross. It's too overpowered every time there's, there's, there's a player there who can easily score. It's too OP for me. That would be what I would say in a constructive way. But yeah, if you guys have any other like fixes that you want to see in the game, let me know. I'm actually going to click on um, the Elgato now and show you the um, update just being done. Why not? See how quickly it does it. But yeah. Um, that is the 517 update, guys. Really big one. I'm not gonna lie, that was a really cool update. I think, I think it should help improve the gameplay a lot. Okay, finally it's updating. Took a while there, but still, there is a new update, guys. And if you guys want to see me stream a Bigfoot draft today on YouTube at about 5 p.m., maybe half five, leave a like on this video. And I love bringing you guys like the latest news of FIFA. It's always like one of my things. I like doing it, um, and I'm very intrigued to get going in FIFA today.